And we're live. I hope everybody How can hear me. How we do? Hold on, hold on. I want to see myself. I want to hear myself. Everybody from home, can you hear <laughs> us? Can you see us? Tell us if you see us. Hi, guys. Hi, Maria. Franzao, give us some uh, sort of like visual feedback. I do not <laughs> see the stream. Is the stream going? Do you guys see the stream? I see yes, it. Well, it's going. Oh, we are there. Finally. Okay. I see our face. Yes. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize I was so pretty, but seeing myself on screen is. <laughs> <laughs> all right so people, people can hear us good evening to our illustrious <laughs> judges tonight hi guys how are you hi fabio good. hello hi hello <laughs> should we do should we do a beautiful introduction of uh the judges tonight who are going to help us judging this fantastic uh, competition with more than 130 images arthur and Bart from The Common Point, our sponsors, our partners in this. And then we have Aneta from Eleven, Carolina from, uh, well, it's complicated. Should we just say? Yeah, we yeah, can say it say, like it is. Let, let's say it's complicated, <laughs> but she's still very, very talented. Tonight, we have a whole Polish cast. Like, all the judges are from Poland. Polska Guro. Coincidence? It's an incredible coincidence. Okay, so I feel like we 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 owe it to you guys to sort of like pay our respect. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, I'm a little bit quiet. I'm still trying to make sure everything's working. In the meantime, something crashed in the background, but we're still going. So I'll I'll fix this on the fly. <laughs> it's fine. I know. I have a. It's fine. I have a It'll very bad sense of humor. Fabio, what, yeah, what's up with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm ready. Can office. we do this? People are waiting on us. They just want to see the images. They want to see their work displayed on the on the computer. <laughs> yeah, it, we're live, man. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> yeah, let's just get into it. All right. Yeah, sorry. Let's let me see it. Let me help make sure that that's not what uh, crashed. All right. So you guys aren't going to be able to see this, but I'm going to I'm going to put this up on the screen for. But you can see that you can watch the stream. Yes. But I'm putting this up for all our viewers at home. I'm going to go ahead and start this slideshow. And as you start the slideshow, I'm going to make a, a small description of what the people were supposed to be doing. So uh, the guys from the Common Point lent us the models that we actually also used for the modeling battle in uh, Vienna, which was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it uh, myself, being on stage with you guys, together with the contestant. And so we gave the, the, one of the models that you guys made available for that competition. We gave it to the community and we say, hey, why don't you make something crazy? You have a couple of months of time to do that. Uh, and people did deliver. And so we got, I think, around 130 entries. Projects yeah. were Oh, fantastic. boy, they delivered so many. I mean, Such beautiful I mean, images. No. And then the, well, the competition, the way it's going to work is that for now, you're going to see a slideshow with all the images that were posted. You, uh, if you took part in this competition, were supposed to actually send us the images through a form. We then put these images in, uh, in, uh, uh, together and we gave them to the judges. And the judges, what they had to do was a pre-selection of 10 images each, which we then put together. And we got, as a result, I think, 30 images, right? Yeah, more or less. But it was very difficult. Yeah, yeah I know. It, it is very difficult. And you will see as we go through the um, the, the process of eliminating the, the, the first, well, 20 plus images in order to define the top 10, this is going to be a very difficult task. Now, um, for you to understand how this is going to work, each one of us is going to go through all the images. We're going to look at them all together. And 
each one of you judges will have to make a selection of what images you don't think belong in the top 10. Now, if some judges feel very strong about certain specific images and you think that they deserve to be in the top 10, each one of you has a veto, which means you can override the decision of one of the other judges, but you can only do it once. And so use your veto just for something that you feel really strong about. Um, we are going to show just the slideshow like this very fast of all the images. Then the images will be posted also in our uh, Facebook group. Um, we we'll probably make also small selection for our Instagram page. So make sure that you check out all those places. You guys are also going to publish them on your own website, right, Arthur? Yeah, I think so. Not, not sure when exactly, but just as a for the whole community, uh, we will select, um, I don't know how many, but some of the best images so you can see them in full glory. And, and there's a lot of them. So, you know, they're yeah. all beautiful. Like you can make yourself a fantastic mood board just by collecting all of these images, you know? It's, it's, and there's, it's, I think there's one thing to add that, you know, we had the rule that just one piece per artist and some people, uh, you know, uh, submitted like multiple entries. So we had to choose what we thought is the best one. And there's probably, you know, some really great pieces won't be in this preselection 30 something images because we just had to narrow it down to you know, one per artist. Yeah, that is that is crazy to me that people not only found the time to make one, they made multiple images. And, uh, and you know, for some people, it's just an exercise to get faster, to maybe test, you know, things like moods, different moods or different ideas. So, you know, that's the whole idea of these challenges is to give the chance to people to try things, do things, and, and uh, I don't know, create something cool and, and do something um, interesting that otherwise they wouldn't do uh, if they weren't uh, part of our community, right? Uh, but anyway, so this is the general slideshow of all the pro projects that were submitted. You have made the selection. When we gonna start with the selection? So the basically top 30 or 32, whatever. Uh, Jason, do you know how many images are in the top uh, selection? I believe there were uh, 30. 30, 30. Okay. Two animations. A nice round number. We're going to spend maybe two minutes, uh, probably less, to say something about each single image, why you made that selection. So, you know, if you are one of the judges that decided to choose that as one of the top 10, you can say something about it. I will have, for obvious reason, to have to move this conversation forward. So I'll be the guy telling you, okay, time is over. Let's move to the next image. And then we're going to start the selection process. The selection process, you're going to be able to see all the images on the screen in thumbnails. And you'll be able to ask Jason to maximize and minimize so that you, know, you can check them all out. Uh, and you'll be able to say, OK, I don't think that image belongs in the top 10. As I said, each one of you, four judges, has a veto. So if you think that an image really belongs in the top 10, you're allowed to override that decision. When we will get to the top five, this will be a very interesting uh, stage of, uh, uh, of the uh, judging. You won't have any veto, and each one of you will have to pick an image that you don't think belongs in the top five. No, top when 10. We get to... Top 10, Fabio. No? Yeah, to... yeah, top 10, but then when we are at the top 10, each one of them picks yeah. one image that doesn't belong. Yeah, no, you said top, top five. five. Top five, we vote. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That doesn't belong in the top five. So oh, from oh 10, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, five. yeah, yeah, sorry. From 10, we need to get to five. And then the top five, we are going to uh, cast a vote. And so each one of us, and this time we'll also join in it, we will also uh, vote for what we think are the best images in order. So we will define the uh, number one, two, three, four, and five. This process, although it sounds very um, democratical, <laughs> it is. <laughs> democratical, I like that. 
<laughs> democratic? Democra what's the word? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. yeah, democratic. It's okay. I'm learning Polish. I'm forgetting English. So. <laughs> uh, co to kurwa robimy? <laughs> you see? <laughs> Is everyone still there? <laughs> They are. Oh, 77 <laughs> people watching. They're all listening. <laughs> we, 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 are, we are. Just for the record, we didn't know that the process was designed in a way for people to hate us. I didn't know that we have to throw images <laughs> away. So nice job, Fabio. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less from you. It's like the, yeah. it's the D2 squid games. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fabio is the master. I think that the, the, <laughs> the images are already looping. So, Jason, let's just show the top 30. I don't believe so. No, no, no. They're looping because I, I, I'm I keeping track. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I saw already the, uh, the the image, the one on the table. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I think so. I thought, uh, I thought it took like, supposed to take like six minutes or something, so. Yeah, I couldn't Dude, see you guys either while aren't I was you running, bored so. already of me talking. Like I've been talking for like twenty minutes. Okay, so, so hold just on. a silly question, but are we supposed to look at the stream and uh, judge the images, or maybe we can have like a no, board I, of our own? I'll share the screen whenever we uh, start doing the image, talking about the images. So you can just oh, look that. at the screen. There you go. Yeah. So yeah. People are impressed with your Polish, Fabio. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also a good time to thank our sponsors, right, Fabio? Uh, oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> you see, we always forget something. Uh, I've got an image me... here. I'm going to throw it you up there. You have an image? Yeah, okay, yeah. great. So, so obviously, yeah, we're ahead, not Fabio. doing this. We're not doing this on our own, and we're not doing it just for the glory of making an image. We are doing it uh, also to give something to the community in, in, in exchange for taking part in this. And so we can tell you that from our side as the D2, the three people that are going to place in the top three, they will get a free ticket to the D2 conference, which, you know, it's kind of a big deal for us because we are um, now a small conference after everything that happened with COVID and everything. And so, you know, uh, we're very happy to make it possible for three people, uh, part of our community, to take part in this and be also part of the conference. We want to thank our friends at Pulse, uh, Polymachine, WVR. Uh, where is the sponsor gone? Oh, it's there. I. It's sorry, I turned it off accidentally. Go ahead. It's there. Continue. I. I it, but I cannot see it. I need the pictures because I don't remember <laughs> holding it. <laughs> Then we have Sinai, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, <laughs> Rebus Farm, Rebus. the R VWR uh, Club, Poly Machine. Pulse. I already mentioned those. And yes. of course, our friends at the Common Point. Uh, guys, are you guys giving anything to the winners from the Common Point? Yes. Yes. yes yeah. Yeah. Everything that we have, which is <laughs> not much. But... Do, do you want to talk about it? Or I'm trying to pull the plug here. <laughs> Oh, sure. We have our Common Point Masterclass. Um, and the thing with the Masterclass is that uh, some of it is already up there on the YouTube. So you can watch it for free. But for the winners, we will have the full banana, <laughs> so to speak. So they have the access for the whole training, four lessons, uh, whole lessons, that, um, the model and some additional juice, like eight lessons. So yeah, that's for the winners. Good. So people get excited. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> okay. Are so give me just a it? minute and I'll pull up the images. Yes. Please. That's what that's what crashed before. So let's hope this like will hold out. And I'm really happy that just to do the introduction it took us an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hour ready. It's hour like ready. In the, in the cinema, you know? <laughs> you need to go through the pain. <laughs> before you watch the movie. OK, so we have a strong uh, pregame, man. Let me uh, let me share this with you guys. Oh, and by the way, I see that there are like 84 people watching and only 20 likes. Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding me now? Come on, people, hit the like button. Oh, I can hit the like button as well. I just subscribe, so. <laughs> hit so like can you guys button. can you guys see everything here? Yeah, we can. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so these are the thirty, so to say, finalists, right? <laughs> And there there should be two animations as well. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, we should show the animations, Jason. You know, because like uh, yeah. those are not really running for uh, for the actual competition. Or is there an image actually? Um, yeah, hold on. I, I mean, there are there are for, for sure uh, some animations, um, but I'll have to open them up. Just a second. Should we play them? So I think like... we ch I think we chose two of the animations, right, to be in the top thirty. But they also at least one of them comes as a still. The other one, I'm not sure. Do you guys remember? Okay, so I'm just going to play these. Mm -hmm. I guess you guys can see them, right? Yes. Man, that's incredible. It's crazy. Well done, Bartosz. Really? I mean, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, Bartosz, how does it feel to see this in action, in animation? Must be wild. Yeah, man. It's nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> is there sound in this? There is no sound. No, I think this one is the most... Yeah, sorry. This, uh, <laughs> the Zoom... You know, thing that's showing that my screen is sharing is like on the screen and won't go away. So, <laughs> like I, you can see it on the stream. It's it's silly, but that was it. Okay, wasn't that it? I think Congratulations! Who, who's the person that did it? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, this one was by Jay Lee. That's all that's written on it. So. Uh, and then this one is by, um, this next one is by Sharif Medhat. Also three animations. Yeah. So, so three were in total and I think two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Started, I think. Mm -hmm. I think Just a short this is one, from yeah. the guys at NADA, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, from NADA. But there's also a video, uh, an image for this one. So, but anyway, okay. Sorry, I meant to play those before. But yeah, the, the image viewer was not uh, not playing those. Really talented guys that we met at the D2 this year. Give them a shout out. Maybe they're watching. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, okay. I'll I'll do the special effect for them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Fabio. That was fantastic. Listen, we're on a budget, okay? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, the sound Either died with no, the other. The no sound special died. effect or the Fabius effect. The sound died with the other computer. Sorry. It, did, did we crash again? No, no, it's all good. I meant the oh, other okay. computer that I was using that I didn't work. Yeah, we had more production value on the next computer. And now we just need to know. <laughs> yeah, now I'm using a now I'm using a PC from 1995, uh, and I'm connected. I've connected via dial-up through my AOL account. Yeah, and those are immortal, man. I think there's like still <laughs> some modems that keep making those noises in some houses. <laughs> I, I I would say that, you know, like pe people need to be connoisseurs and lovers of the genre of, of uh, stream that we do. We are basically the equivalent of the movie The Room for 
the the cinema we are the equivalent for the streaming industry and so you know like now it might look low cost and ridiculous in the future <laughs> it might still be but i don't know i i don't really know what i was going with this sorry okay should we <laughs> should we just look at all the images jason do you want to do a uh sort of like a live stream uh slideshow of this maybe maybe we can already jump to you know um yeah, yeah we can one actually, one. Yeah, we can yeah, actually seen... start talking about them yeah, yeah exactly away. we've seen all of these yeah. already in the slideshow and so I'll, I'll i'll keep i'll keep an eye on the clock i i still have the the polish anthem playing on my phone <laughs> it was just really silent Um, yeah, so okay. let me just put this up larger for everyone. I hope you can see that. Everybody can see that okay? Yes. Yes, we can okay, see Okay, can I start? Yes. So, so this you image, know. sorry, is from Tobias C. I'm going to check these names while, while you guys talk. Okay, mm -hmm. go. Whoever wants to jump yeah, maybe, in. Maybe I can start. So Yes, uh, do it. Yeah, th this image, um, you know, is a beautiful concept. Uh, I honestly like the, the care and the details, uh, the execution, the idea, it, everything is there. <laughs> Literally, as I was looking at this image, I was <laughs> kind of putting myself in a position of the, of the bird and like, oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> like they are already waiting for something to happen. And like, okay, we got her, <laughs> we got her, you know, like she doesn't know yet. So there, there's a beautiful mystery behind this image. And yeah, the, the, the design of it, the idea, I absolutely love it. Jason, and maybe do you want to zoom in a little bit? Yeah, you can definitely appreciate all the details. And one kind of surprising uh, thing is... With, yeah, I can't really do that with bridge. I've got, I've got bridge open. I can't really zoom into it. I can do like this. Yeah, either way, guys, like you should go um, to the top 30 um accounts instagrams and appreciate all the details we will have the website later on so you will have that opportunity as well but either way like this image um usually is super difficult to have an aerial shot and make it like kind of really be in a place since it looks floaty it looks weird but staying close to the birds is how i like to read this image yeah and couldn't say less about how the how the silhouette kind of translates to the whole story. So Arthur, I hate to do this, sense. but we gotta move to the next image. So guys, um, it's, it's oh, tall, it's tall over there. Way. That is brutal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll, I'll let you do your thing. Then don't complain if we're gonna stay here for uh for three hours. <laughs> okay, let's if go. Someone else wants to make a comment, go for it. If you want yeah, to just a quick comment, one. Yeah, no, just, you know, scatters tend to look really artificial from, from aerial images, while here it's like pretty, you know, believable. And I really like the composition, which is pulling you into really naturally. Also, you know, the story, it's pretty well readable and then, uh, you know, also kind of compelling this uh, you know, story between the character and, and the object. So, yeah, I, I really dig it. This is basically the Red Riding Hood with a cabin, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. It's, mm -hmm. The shadow is getting yeah, me, it, but yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, for me, I think because we received so, so many images and it was really hard for us to choose even the 30, it was in the end a bit about going unusual. And this one for me really stood out, the, the perspective that somebody chose, the, the lights, the composition, it really kind of stuck in my head. So well, well done on that, definitely. You guys are very dedicated to commenting these images. I'm gonna order a pizza on Uber. Because... <laughs> okay, let's move to the next one. Yeah, sorry. This one is from Alec. So Alexander Physic. Ah, this is one of our long long time listeners. Yeah, so this one is, is like really beautiful and on, on many levels, like from composition, how you read the lines from this, you know, the flowing flowers. And also for me, it's, you know, pretty evident and, and uh, interesting to see the structures kind of resembling this uh, Chinese junk boats. Uh, 
yeah, and I really like this correlation, especially you know in this smooth color color palette. For me, it's like you know, almost perfect image, especially this, that it seems to be like one hundred percent CGI with all the rigged characters. Yeah, lovely for me. Yesterday I was checking uh, from which part of the world uh, is this inspiration, and it seems like this is uh, Vietnamese. Uh, it's a lovely, I think, tradition uh, of picking uh, lotus, and uh, this image is brilliant. You can crop it in a different ways, and uh, each time you have different uh, story, different composition. Uh, it's uh, it's a really pleasing image. Yeah, just the just the concept itself is quite unusual, and I know that Bartek, as a creator of the model, he was really looking for somebody to rediscover the structure as something else, as not just a cabin where you live, but something that could be used for something else. And this is this is a very creative idea to use it as a place where you storage something instead of. Um, habitant so yeah beautiful image and can i add one more thing sure. mm -hmm. of pink in renderings it, it takes a certain you know ability it's it's not a color that it's easy you know but here it's you can see that it's pink but you can it, it's not the pink you know that i have in my background <laughs> yeah <laughs> i really like that it takes uh mastery you know to 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 do that we're over time, go guys. Home. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and for me, all the above. I, I can go on and on. So let's, okay, let's... next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> next. All of the above. <laughs> okay, so, so this... I really like yeah. the image and etc. Go. Yeah, I think we all liked it. You know, it's just... It just 90, 90 degree turn of, of, of the object, but suddenly it becomes something totally different. Uh, also, the color play. And, you know, it's like a pretty simple trick, but it's very, very strong in the image. So we really like this rediscovery. Hmm. Uh, again, rediscovery of the structure. Yeah, yeah, and, if, if uh, there was a... mm -hmm. yeah go on, please. Yeah, I was just about to say, if this was a contest about which image stood out the most, I think hands down, this one did. Because all of us, when we saw this, we were like, okay, this is different. Did, did we mention As... the artist, Alessandro Colace? Sorry, yes. This image is really conceptual and it's uh, something that is smart. It's just smart because uh, all we can see is that sometimes almost is good enough it's uh, there is not too much of the things it's technically good and uh, it's outstanding that's for sure because of the colors yeah and i also wanted to add uh, my two cents uh, about the colors since i don't know if you guys know but th there's this thing about colors when with uh, blues deep blues they get saturated when they are pretty dark and like when you have, when you are designing a color palette, when you use like deeper, really dark blues, they get saturated very fast. And here, like you don't see the saturation that much, but it hits like right on the nose. It's really beautiful. And mm. the reds, which usually, you know, get kind of magenta-ish or orangey, like here, the combination between two, especially in the dark tone, which is like a, such a unique case it really hits all the marks for me yeah i agree guys nice we are tight on time i ask you please to move to the next image sorry sure sure this is from jason sorry this is from nadim ashraf there we go oh th this one is an instagram instagram banger it so much reminds me of photography like, like there's so many images that are in, in the steel and blue uh, teal and orange um, stylistic and it's really like bringing memories that I don't have but I feel like <laughs> I'm having them like it, it reminds me of some situations so it's it feels super nostalgic and kind of romantic in a way so not saying about the composition technical aspect and all that but there's so much more about this image that I like 
Yes, it's definitely like compelling biome, uh, consistent all over the place, and also the composition colors, you know, it will all well play together. So yeah, we really liked it. Okay, I think we can go on. Okay, let's jump in. move to the next one. Jamin. This one is from Andrei, uh, Andrei uh, Stanovich. So this one actually came in two different formats, I think. In my opinion, both of them were nice. I would say the other one was a bit more dramatic, but this is super beautiful as well. The the shapes that the person is creating uh, with different layers. I think it's very well thought. Uh, and the play with color is beautiful as well. Yeah, this, this composition is now pretty courageous with this negative space mm. being eyes on the top. And this second version, I think it was even more courageous with, with mm. a lot of also negative space on the left. And both were pretty compelling. We chose this one. Maybe it's a bit more accessible and visible in, in this format. But yeah, in, I think in terms of compositions, both of them were pretty strong. So let's move on, sorry. Move on. Okay, let's do this. This is from Andre uh, Michalinko. I'm sure I'm butchering yeah. these names. Go. I'm very sorry for all of you. <laughs> Andre is a, is a great artist. Not the first image that he, he does during our challenges. Oh, great fan of Andre. Uh, super happy um, to see him join the, the contest. And, and by the way, there's so many great artists that join the, the contest. We cannot uh, thank you. Uh, enough uh, of it, just showing the images. But... This, is, this is something that I'm really proud of, that people that, you know, we look up to, they still, you know, want to join this challenge because they yeah. enjoy doing that. You know, it's uh, it's humbling. 100%. Yeah, and this feels magical. I, I don't know how, uh, since, you know, all the images, like like the baseline of the, the colors, of the details, the the top 30, they are all, all above and beyond. And right now I'm, I'm kind of trying to explain like what kind of feelings they bring since we are kind of exceeding this technical kind of field. So th this one feels magical and, and I, I don't even, uh, I'm not able to explain what I'm feeling. Like, is it some kind of uh, future? Is it present? Is it some kind of, um, place of, of mystery is it tribal we had many tribal images but this feels like futuristic and almost raw and, and primitive at the same time so that there's something really mysterious and magical about this image that yeah, I this, is this, this, yeah sorry uh just want that this is this fuzzy pen, painterly cosmic wind and i i like how this mm -hmm. uh contrast with this tactile feeling of this you know straight uh straight rolls on, on the bottom and just you know it's pretty dark but all the highlights are, I think, pretty well curated. Yeah, it's quite nice that the story is not quite straightforward. Like you maybe get a hint of what the author had in mind, but you you don't really fully know what you're looking at. Is so I think probably the reason why we like it so much because different people looking at this image probably have a different understanding of what's going on. Knowing Andre, I can tell you that. He's got a whole different meaning to it. <laughs> it would be okay. nice to hear what's behind Sorry. the image. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, we okay, have to move guys, on, otherwise move we're, to it's going to take yes. five hours, really. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, now we're concerned. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I thought maybe they would get faster. You know, I thought maybe they get faster as we moved on. It's just getting longer. Sure. So. <laughs> sure. Oh, maybe maybe we can. Um leave it um, to the people like are people enjoying this or should we make it faster do not let people decide <laughs> do not let They'll people like, decide. yes we want to hear everything we've been down that road do not we, make people decide we want to hear okay. everything and then the next thing is they've left the chat you know, it's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah beautiful image so Thank this one, I would say, <laughs> this one was one of the ones that was very like subtle. So I think I don't think we chose it like straight away. It's only later when we started like really looking into it. And when I was zooming into this one, I could really tell that somebody has love for greenery because the 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 placing of the plants, the the tones of the greens, like they really well matched. So one of the one of the images that you need a little bit time to warm up to, but once you do, you you really do appreciate. 
Yeah, this artist yeah, submitted yeah. three images and we had a hard job mm. choosing the one. Mm. Uh, for me, like this consistent mood of this rainy season evening, mm. uh, somewhere, somewhere, you know, hot and humid, it's like really something touching and then this mood is like just flowing out of the image. So also a lot of, you know, uh, subtle details that are well mm. executed, like the plants being uh, uh, among the boards of the deck instead of just, you know, uh, crashing into into them uh, as it usually is with 3D graphics. So it's really nice to see this uh, commitment to the detail. Yeah, In my opinion, this is one of the uh, this is one of the best uh, 3D recreation of the environment uh, from all of the works. I really like the greenery in this image and the detail that you can see uh, on the path, uh, the little plants are coming through the through the planks. Again, it's we're gonna really post nice. This, we're gonna post these pictures on our groups on our pages yes. so that people can have an, a better idea mm -hmm. because the stream doesn't give them justice. Yeah, I probably doesn't post them on the on the web page as well. Yeah, so you can get an even better version. Um, Guys, yeah, I would I would like to just mention I was just I'm like looking into the you know into the Excel for the, the Google Sheet like with all the names and everything, and. This person, uh, this is Anton, uh, where was the name? Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, just a second. Anton uh, Juliant. And on one of the images, there was someone else helping, and that was Adi Widana. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure which image it was. So uh, it could be that this was a group, uh, you know, a, a group effort. Yeah, lovely. Anton, if you're watching, let us know. If that's we move one. to the next image, Jason. <laughs> I'm just trying to check because I want to make sure that if it was multiple people working on an image, I want to make sure everybody gets credit here. Um, this is from Olivio um, uh, Haryananda. Haryananda. Oh, th this one had like the Last of Us vibe for me. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, really nice. And it doesn't happen so often that we have a picture-in-picture -picture image that it doesn't feel forced, you know, like like the cave, the mystery, the the Indiana Jones kind of vibe here. It, it reads uh, there. There's some motion blur that might be too much, uh, at least on the stream. I don't remember, but yeah, there's definitely something that's super powerful. Also in terms of colors, <clears throat> you have this nice, well curated, heavy plants, which you know that they work when you contrast them with uh, the rock. So I really enjoy, like, the, 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 there's a specific hue that really work, and I think I read them like a wet, nice exploration kind of vibe and kind of piece. So it really works nicely for me. Really we great also... execution as well. If you if you zoom in, the details are really the beautiful blending. We also have to say that this seems to be one of the community most liked ones, like uh, in our mm -hmm. stories and uh, and reshares. Okay, Moving should on. we move to the next one? Yep. Mm -hmm. This was the film. Uh, it's not going to play right now, but this was the animation that we watched. From Bartosz. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so obviously it's hard to compare, you know, still images to animation, but uh, there are many nice plays that we liked. Uh, I like this, comp you know, juxtaposition of the stone piles and the cabins, <laughs> and also this creative choice to change the, the fabric to the silver foil. Mm. Uh, I think in one shot it play, played against, against uh, the building, but in other shots it, you know, adds something nice and fresh and... and uh yeah also this this environment and biome is pretty also consistent uh you can see it in in these aerial shots that uh, are in, in animation that it's all well thought incredibly realistic uh, realistic mm -hmm. the whole thing huh? yeah yeah and good. i cannot stress enough how much work was uh put into this piece like make, making animation making an image in it of itself is a crazy task but doing an, a full animation of it you know, uh, Bartosz, uh, just, just power to you, man. I, I hope this animation will serve you more than just, just a couple of our nice worlds, worlds. I hope this will, you know, gain some traction because it's a wonderful piece. 
uh, cinematically, uh, compositionally, that there's a lot of love and a, a lot of appreciation. So, you know, I, I hope it will, you know, it will coin it to your advantage more than this challenge. And it's really beautiful. Yeah, amazing effort. And the music was going really nicely with the video as well. So amazing job. Guys, I have to ask you to move forward. Sorry. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. I like this composition, you know, going uh, this spiral line through this this snowy road, the cabins, and also this this, uh, this swoosh of light on the sky. It's I think pretty dynamic, also with this uh, blizzard snow at the ground, uh, and the cabins. I don't know. Uh, I mean, the composition of them, three of them, it kind of reminds me. I don't know, like sac sacred scene, like I don't know, crucifixion and this kind of stuff. Pretty iconic. Uh, yeah, maybe it's too much. But... It's not. I uh, to be honest, I think that this is nice. Uh, this is nice game uh, because we have this dynamic, uh, dynamic snow around and uh, those shapes, and we have very static uh, three uh, cabins. And this is uh, these are such opposites that they are. Uh, this is a really really smart uh, image I, I i think yeah and i also like how crisp and how dynamic it feels at the same time like there's there's moments that, that we have a lot of movement and it feels soft and very foggy like very dynamic but at the same time it feels very crisp so the combination between two it's really masterfully done and cura uh, done and curated here so yeah that yeah. is really unique what is the name of the artist again yeah, I'm trying to find it. Sorry. And just to add, if you look at the top right corner, even the motion blur of the snowflakes is just this swir swirling, swirling line that pulls you into the composition. So like small touches that really matter. Yeah, I've got here, it says uh, Jimmy Neutron. Well Jimmy done. Neutron. Guys, let's move to the next image. Yeah. All right. This is from uh, Nicolo Provelli, not a stranger to our challenges. Very often entering. And go. So we received quite a lot of images that were sci-fi inspired. And although this one wasn't the most like prominent out of them, it has a lot of like nice such a feeling about it at least at least to me like the more you look at the image the more you notice the little details in the foreground the the details in the background the figurines that are working on whatever it is a ship i guess that is is about to go up so it has a a nice futuristic feel to it but without pushing it too hard like making it still romantic in a way not post-apocalyptic enough yeah, I, I really like the colors and this mm -hmm. volumetric play in the background. There are also this chain link in the foreground, uh, in the depth of field, uh, you know, slightly, slightly blurred. So I think it all comes together pretty nicely. Yeah, we can move on. Okay, great. <clears throat> Jason? I'm on top of it. This is from Arthur Valente. And oh, I'm a sucker for this one. Um, all I can say that this is a dream place that I would love to <laughs> be uh, at some point in my life. And yeah, the just combining the, the white cloth with the fog uh, in terms of like geometry and color, in terms of form, it works really, really well. Like it reads, it's not so boring. It has moments and like definitely if you go um, to Arthur's um, Instagram, you can appreciate all the details. It's everything there. So it looks just, you know, okay, I immediately want to be there. Mm -hmm. Arthur, yeah, very, very The way serene. you talk about this stuff, you, it feels like you need a holiday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, Sorry, we will Anita. have, like, come to Barcelona next week. Sorry, so. Anita. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. No, I was just saying that it's 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 really serene. I uh, I agree with with Arthur. It just makes me wanna be there as well. 
And I think it's quite smart how you don't have any direct lights. And even though you don't, it's it still feel just uh, relaxing and romantic. Should we move to the next image, guys? Yes. Let's. This is from uh, Christian Dragos. Go. Okay, here so I think we really like the color play. Uh, this this mm -hmm. uh, kind of a bit tealish gray on of the sky and this uh, you know, uh, brownish sand. I think it really plays really nice together. Uh, also, the composition is nice with a lot of negative space on top. Uh, it lets you breathe with the image. So maybe you know some details could be a bit more intricate, but overall this image is you know uh, really stealing attention. I, I love the bold decision to make it look like a sci-fi concept piece mm, and yeah. using like uh, all this geometrical approach to creating um, a rhythm, even, you know, like with the folds and the uh, dunes and everything. It, I, it's really a powerful image, I have to say. Incredible work. I'm, my God, this is like Hollywood stuff that we're showing you. But it's funny because you said it's something about sci-fi, but it's not even sci-fi. That's what it kind of gets you. You look at it, it and you think sci-fi, yeah, but it's it almost, not. <laughs> uh, it almost, uh, it, it, it looks a little bit like if it was a uh, an illustration from Dunes or from, I don't know, a Mad Max or whatever. Yeah, I think that's what made it even harder for us to make the decision because the images are very different styles as well. As you said, this is more like conceptual kind of movie uh, pre-concept and and <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. No, 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 go ahead. Finish, <laughs> Never mind. Finish, finish. <laughs> oh my God, Jason! <laughs> <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, Jason. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're back, and we're back. <laughs> Jason I was trying to sliding like... as well. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying. Fine, next. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. Oh, okay, I'm move really on. Sorry. Ne next time, beer is on us. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll try. I'll try a bit harder to say something. Important. No, you got you, you <laughs> to yell. Please, now, please. I'm gonna. We're gonna give you time to remember. No, 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 so this wasn't just about this image. I was saying in general, they're very okay. different style. I think I think Artur said it's kind of like comparing tikka masala to pizza. It's like you, you don't really know <laughs> which one is better because they're just very different. No, you're yeah. totally right. Pizza's better. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next image. Okay, are we sure? Okay, sorry. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sorry, was... guys watching that. I don't know if we are dragging this too much or, or this feels okay, but yeah, it's very hard to keep uh, an eye on the time. So, sorry. I'm, I'm doing that. What are you talking about, Arthur? I'm know. the one keeping time. <laughs> okay, go. Okay, here I really like this uh, feeling of 80s action movie. Uh, on like maybe maybe Gotham City or maybe something with Russell Crowe or. Uh, I mean, car dresses, <laughs> but uh, yeah, also redoing the cabins into homeless shelter, I think, uh, at least that's what I read from it. Uh, yeah, and, and I think also lighting composition, you know, all in place. Yeah, and uh, and here, this is one of the rare opportunities that I, I would like to mention that uh, with some uh, bold moves, it, it could really shine. Like, you know, there's this image is selling a drama, but through colors, it, it might be more dramatic. So, you know, it feels a lot of painterly in, in terms of contrast, but if there's more dramatism, um, you know, maybe reds could be like, we had this example of using um, deep blues, navy blues and, uh, or, and reds. So if here, if you could play with color, like some colors have emotions um, kind of tied up to them, and you could really make this image like bring people to tears. Arthur, so. yeah, I, I think that grading is just making it feels uh, it feel retro. Uh, if you paint it awesome. more with undertones, really more it would a, be like more. Yeah, sorry. It really is a Blade Runner sort of like the first Blade Runner. Sort yeah, of like, like you know a lot of this this color play in eighties movies. Arthur, this could be a good segue to say that you know, uh, you Bart and I are planning these uh, reviews that we're going to host on our channels, which basically um, 
are supposed to take some of these artworks and sort of like explore ways to either make them different, maybe try to enhance them a little bit. But we're going to talk a little bit more about this later on. It's just that yeah. I want to already throw that idea out to our community because if you do want to get invo involved in this, you have to let us know. You can send us your images and you can give us the, the, the chance to work on them uh, on our channel so that we can um, maybe give you some tips and help you enhancing uh, the, the work that it's already fantastic by the way yeah especially that we don't want to push feedback right now because not everybody wants it but i think it's really valuable and if you really spend this much time working on this piece it would be just you know valuable for you to to hear what we can say about it uh yeah so i i encourage everybody jason yep, let's go on. to the next image And this was from Raffaele Thierry. Did we mention the name? Yes. Sorry, yeah. You said it. You said it. Okay. Let's move to the next one. Who's the artist here? Uh, I think this is F Philip Moreton. Uh, okay. Philip, Jack. yes. I think so, yeah. It's hard Good to see the name there. Philip. I hope he's watching. Yeah, okay. it's another Good. Last of Us. Yeah, it's from Philip, yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a sucker for Last of Us, so, you know, you cannot go wrong with it. And um, it's kind of a shame that we cannot see the close-ups since that there's a lot of care and mm -hmm. effort put in this one, especially if you slide through the stories, uh, through the images we post. There's so much care. And, you know, even though, like, like this, um, since it, it's, like, um, titled uh, late or, or something like this, I, I think, so you're just tying everything together. I think it works really well. But the the the, the devil is in details in here, and I think that that's where the the biggest appreciation is. Next, you want to move to the next one? <clears throat> okay, so yes. maybe we can do a lot of fire. Jean Gianluca Zito. This is one of my favorite images. Uh, I like this uh, calm and nice vibe, but there is um, there is some tension between those objects in the scene, and uh, I think that this one uh, is amazing because it's a bit minimal, but it's also very um, it's kind of romantic. Uh, I I I love this image. This is one of my favorite images. I can it's hear music. super simple. I can hear music when I see this image. That's yes. for me like I don't know why, but that's <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's super simple, but also very effective. And you know, uh, as this Star Wars scene with two suns setting on to Tatooine, it's just you know visually very simple, but it just makes you feel something. So yeah, I, I, for me, it's very Star Warsy, also with this kind of almost Darth Vader in the foreground. Yeah. Yeah, and guys, maybe we can make a, a rapid fire of uh, comments since we will talk about some of the images while we have the top 10. So maybe we can, you know, ramp it up a little bit. Okay, sure. let's keep moving. This is Romandre uh, Roscoe. Anyone wants to say anything? Okay, next. No, yes. Just, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, th this one, um, and I'm a super sucker for the tribal things as well. Whenever I see the hat, I'm like, okay, this is this is the one that I'm most likely going to uh, enjoy since it nicely connects to the architecture. You know, that there's a feeling about the, the cloth, which feels natural. And here, like going real deep with, um, with the kind of, I don't know, religion or like the Buddhism or something like this, it just connects to the nature. I think like everything stays stays in this realm of um, nature, greenery, water, cloth, religion. I don't know. There's just something mystic about it that that I kind of connect with. I like also that. Uh, I like that the uh, cabins are um, seems to be a part of the organic structure. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a. Uh, it's like a one piece uh, of architecture. So, 
Yeah, and yeah, I like the execution nice. of water with mm. all this vegetation underneath. Yeah, sorry. But what I really yeah, I like agree about with this Carolina. One... Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no, now no, everyone wants to speak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I like this. I like how the sky reflection merges with the reflection of the statue in the end. Mm. Yeah, I just wanted to say that it's it's cool that it's a symmetrical composition, yet the cabin itself is not symmetrical. It's just part of the environment, as Carolina said. So it's almost like the image is not about the cabin, it's about something else, which is a nice approach to the, the subject. Guys, I hate to do this. Time. Yeah, we should move. We should move. Let's move to the next one. How many more Im images do we have um, to review? 75. Yeah, that'll be good to know. Okay. 14. 14. Oh, so we are in the. Uh, we're half, we're only half. We only went through mm. half of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's keep moving fast, okay? Okay, Jason, open it up. It's here. Are you not there watching you the screen? Oh, no, I'm watching the the the, the shared stream. So go. this one came came in a few versions. We really liked both of them. Couldn't quite decide which one to go for. We decided this one, especially because of the play of lights, because of the nice layering and the mood and the atmosphere. It's super dreamy, very well executed, beautiful. Yeah, it's always hard to to execute these material shots and. I think it's it's you know on, on a really well the uh, on a really good path. Just you know a, a few brushwork could help to merge it all together because it's difficult to make this top all in CG, but uh, it's already in a very good place. So we like we liked it. Okay, let's next. move to the next one. We're moving. Yeah, this is our Fred, Fred Delgado. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. The last image was from Denis uh, Ranchevich, uh, and this next one is from Fred Delgado. Oh, I think previous with the boat was from Andre. I don't know if you mentioned it, but okay. And about this image, I think we all uh, discovered this image because first, at the first sight, it was like this image disappeared. Uh, and uh, the the nice thing is that diagonal composition, uh, which is really visible when you will crop the image uh, on the level of the upper uh, rock. And uh, I think that this image moves me <laughs> and, uh, and, and I really like the composition. Yeah, we discussed this one quite a lot. I think it's it's one of the images yes. that sparked the biggest conversation, like us literally trying to imagine being that guy and which rocks he's gonna step on as he's gonna move. So <laughs> I, I think I think that's nice. If the image makes you go into a person that is depicted, I think it's doing a pretty good job. You're totally right. I I really agree with that that comment. Guys, I'm sorry, we gotta keep moving time let's cool. move to the next one. Oh, and by the way just short remark uh, if um people are up for it we can already vote like top five if you like <laughs> uh just you know to make things a little bit faster arthur let us do our thing because it's already confusing enough trust me <laughs> sure no worries <laughs> you're, you're you're like you're like removing the entire fun part of this <laughs> <laughs> We, oh, we, man, no, we, I mean, if you guys want to, you know, if, if you guys want to just pick the top five, then yeah, that's a quick, easy solution. But no, it's not going to be that easy. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to end up somewhere. We're maybe going to end up somewhere. I mean, maybe since you guys already chatted about it. Let's talk the about the image. Place. Go. It's from Gabriel Rodriguez. What's up, guys? Uh, so this one, I think we immediately chose it as, as the one that we want to proceed with, just because it looks like a ton of work. And whatever you look, there is some story, there is some detail, and there is clearly a, a vision behind the colors that I used as well. So yeah, we, we, we just, we couldn't not choose it. I think it was a very- Can I just say something? Mm -hmm. He's an artist at Elephant Skin. Oh. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Yeah, and this this one mm. has like a sorrow, 
but very readable reality, you know? Um, it's super tricky when you play with different color of the light, not to make it overlap and make it still readable, like in a pack shotty way when you make a car. And this works really nicely, you know, to showcase some lines, some shapes, uh, composition, depth. Um, yeah, I really enjoy the, the, the work and play with uh, colors and light view here. Yeah, and if, you, if you zoom in, there is no part that feels rushed and mm, everything, yeah. all the details are pretty curated and uh, it, yeah, it all blends together mm. really nicely. Uh, it happens that this kind of images are uh sometimes disturbing and sometimes they are scary or um, um but this one is it's not that way it's uh it's just okay to sit there it seems safe <laughs> and uh i i think that we we all do have the same feelings about this image guys let's move to the next one Sorry, no, they can't see you, Hazen. Come on, James, click the button. Oh, we are approaching Sorry, to the... Sorry, I was distracted. Yes, sir. Oh, boy. <laughs> and go. Uh, so I personally really, really like this one. It has something very pure about it without trying too hard. And you only appreciate certain things if you really look at them. I think there are a lot of details that you don't see at the first sight, like a car in the background, that there is this boy with a with a little camera on the hill. I like that the cabin is not, not on one third, not in the middle. It's kind of like an awkward position, but it really it really works. So for me, this one resembles a little bit maybe like children's book illustration so it has this like calm feeling about it that just makes me want to look at it you had this lively discussion about this one as well mm -hmm. and uh we thought it's like this carefree or almost a ghibli studio feeling like uh some of us liked some elements of this image more uh some less but in general i think uh, it's definitely something different and opening, uh, you know, different feelings and definitely something really carefree, like, you know, standing on this hill and, and uh, feeling above everything else. Uh, the perfect it. thing in this image is that it's uh, cheerful, but it's not naive. And mm -hmm. uh, and that's the, that's yeah, and that's effortless. Uh, so... It's it's a great art to merge all the, all of those things together. I don't nice. think we mentioned the artist. Yep. Oh, right, Giuseppe La Greca. Giuseppe La Greca. Congrats, Giuseppe. Oh, double, also a long time listener color. and participant of our uh, uh, contexts. Yeah. Yep. Go on. Let's move forward. Next image. Jakub Sobiczewski. Taste. <laughs> uh, <Yes. laughs> and go. Colors in this image. Uh, these are perfect opposite. Uh, and I love that. This is Carolina, great. you can just paint it blue. <laughs> uh, no. It's it's a it's a it's a great thing you you can see some tension in this image uh there is um it's it's kind of like apocalyptic post-apocalyptic image um, i like it too yes yeah, very it, nice. it's strong and it's something that is can stuck in your head so that was my test if i will wake up and i will remember about the image next day uh it's it's worth to to talk about it yeah it's quite cool. nice that it features a person but you maybe don't see him straight away it's only once you look around the cabin you notice that okay there is there is a guy looking at it but he's not the main part of the image i quite like that subtlety about it sorry guys let's move forward yeah, we're doing good. Uh, this is Jay Lee. I think this is also was an animation. Uh, it was the second animation yeah. we watched. 
that was the second animation and I really like uh, this scene with camera slowly rotating and also the cabins uh, glowing from the bottom up. Uh, I think this scene alone was, was really powerful and, and worth uh, at least mentioning here. Yeah, and there's definitely eerie vibes, um, you know, super cinematic. If you look closely um, to, the, to the animation itself, um, there's the, the tree movement, which uh, might be awkward in some cases, you know, it might be like in a different scale or you does, don't feel the, the weight of the, of the trees. So th there's moments that really kind of hits all the marks there. And the, the eeriness, uh, I don't know, not, not as far as Bla Blair Witch Project, but there's definitely something like, quote unquote, disturbing about it, but still kind of, you know, en enjoyable to watch. I think it was nice that there was a story progression as well. So the mood changes throughout the video. So it's not just animation for the sake of having animation, but there is actually a reason behind it. I appreciated that. Let's Great. move to the next. This is from Lorenzo Mazzi, another guy who's often <laughs> is submitting images for the challenge. Oh boy, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> this is real good. <laughs> I mean, uh, everything about this image screams super polished image in you know that there's a lot of mud painting here like don't get me wrong but uh, it's executed 105 percent there uh, the colors the composition the um, even the the lighting scenarios we were going through it back and forth quite a lot and yeah we still have the hat so that's like okay check uh, but there's something nice about the, um, the cloth with the stormy clouds that feel like, okay, this structure could be there. Like it see, feels that the design idea, design thought, it, it literally fits in this place. It, it doesn't feel like, okay, it, it's just slapped into a forest. It really connects to the nature around That's it. It's really like a, a, a Simon Stalinag style. Yeah. We had this, what, what was it? Uh, the... Helmoyski. Helmoyski, the painter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, I know that this is not uh, a, a Slavic environment, but there is one <laughs> one Polish painter that uh, did paintings with very similar colored palettes, and they always had this um, serenity about it. So a lot of a lot of uh, his paintings were of people working in the fields, but some of them would like lie on the ground and play with like strings of spider web. So almost like recklessly just being there and enjoying life. And it kind of, for me, it brings that emotion of, uh, yes, there are people working in a field, but there's still something really beautiful and um, and uh, enjoyable about it. Guys, and with, this, with the bath landscape, there's always a thing about curating highlights. And I think they're pretty well composed here. OK, let's, let's move on. Guys, sorry, let's move on. Oh, we are close to the heels. Oh, boy. <laughs> yes. I was talking about this image because uh, uh, I tried to participate in this uh, contest, but then uh, Arthur <laughs> called me <laughs> and, and, uh, and I will judge. But uh, when I was thinking about this, uh, this building and this architecture, uh, I thought that this is kind of tricky, but because somehow the form is quite solid and sharp, but the texture is light, it's transparent. And I was thinking about the crystals, and this is quite close to the crystals. Um, I There is something in this image that I like, and this is the right environment, I guess. Uh, yeah, I I enjoyed this image. Yeah, and yeah, I had there's some... quite a... Mm -hmm. no, come on. You go. Uh, okay, you go I basically. just wanted to add that, that there is some, you know, uh, some mystery story of alien excavation that's like mm -hmm. something fresh in this competition. When you see cabins after cabins, this is something that 
in terms on, on the level of the storytelling, this is something you know, brand new with this image that we have. Yeah, that's a similar thing that I wanted to say that this industrial feeling about it was quite different to everything else that we saw. And we should Just, mention the author as well. Yes, this is Neil Cross. Who apparently was posting as he was proceeding in making this image and he had no idea what this image was going to look like until the, the, the very last stage of it. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I like, enjoyed the back and forth with us <laughs> playing a game of cat and mouse. <laughs> Let's move to the next one. There you go. Go. Okay, okay, this is got... from uh, Rostom, Rostom uh, Tamayo. Brick, baby! A, bri a bricker. <laughs> a bricker. <laughs> Yeah, and he submitted two images, and it was a tough choice. Uh, but we chose this one because it has so many D2 Easter eggs that it was you know, <laughs> hard to not commit it on live stream. Yeah, yeah, I have one of these ducks in my home. Yeah! <laughs> you're, a, you're a lucky one. I don't even have it. You know, I am. Like... <laughs> really? Fabio, I've got one left. It's Terrible. I got one left. Yeah, and this image, of course, does many things totally differently with this narrow angle and also uh, this painterly uh, feeling, this overpaint uh, of it. So uh, it you know, naturally feels less CGI and more more uh, kind of tactile in, in, uh, in the substance of it. Uh, yeah, so definitely also something fresh to look at. I thought it was quite brave that the cabins are just like blocks of colors and there is no detail there. It, it was an unusual approach, it really stands out. I have to say, Rustam really is, a, is an amazing artist. A, he, he evolved so much over the past few years. And, you know, we saw it because of all the entries that he made. He, I'm just so proud of him, you know, for all the, the, the work that he's doing. This image is just a banger. I I actually think that uh, he, you know, it, it helped him get the job at Brick. You know, all the images that he did for the challenges over the last couple of years, you know, he used those um, in the portfolio when he applied. So I hope there I didn't go. miss anyone else from Brick here who, who had made it into the top 30. Uh, if I missed you, I'm really sorry. Uh, chat with me on Monday in the office. I'll... I'll buy lunch. <laughs> Let's All move right. to the next image. Okay, okay so this is Sonia yeah. Sonia Lahovska. And she's watching this... with the whole team. Yeah, hi Sonia. This is like totally different and uh, you know this 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 image kind of punch you, punches you in the, in the face and it's uh, I like how punk it is and also pretty aggressive from starting from you know camera ending at post-production and this right razor sharp chromatic aberration and yeah it's like like totally different on an artistic level so uh, i think yeah. we like this difference 100 percent. and i like when the images um, bring me to a place i have never been before <laughs> and kind of <laughs> You and, and I have me. been to many strip clubs together, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> I haven't been in this one. I mean, this is something. <laughs> Even though, like I mentioned, that this is definitely our our type of cabin. But but seriously, <laughs> there's just art that kind of nudges you um, in that different direction that you have never been before. And even though, like, I like how much I don't understand it, and this image is. Uh, for me, it's a start of a dialogue. Like I want to understand more. I, like after I saw this image, I literally scrolled the whole uh, feed because this is what you do. You know, like you need to have some answers, and when you fail to get them, you're like, "Fuck, what now?" You know. So <laughs> this is literally um, one of my favorites. Uh, even though you know you can argue that there's like that the biggest the shock value is there. But yeah, there, there's just something that 
really screams that even though like I'm a father and I have a daughter, you know. <laughs> but okay, still. let's move to the next image. I'm we afraid go it's to gonna say one. things that it's oh. gonna regret. Stop, stop talking, Arthur. Yeah, but I know this is part a... of the discussion. This is what I'm saying, guys. But this is also <laughs> like a sport. This is also like he a sport. Me, no, don't, he wants don't, me don't. to start the dialogue with that woman and ask her, is it really what you want to do for the rest of your life? <laughs> but you guys you guys are like taking it down a no, totally another path. This is actually a sport that people do. So, I mean, come on. Okay. I've had oh, way too yeah. much to drink. Let's move to the next image. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, this the, is from the, uh, Sergei. Sergei, uh, I'm going to mess. I messed these names up. I'm so sorry. Sergei, I'm going to say it in English. Chas Chin. That's wrong. Uh, <laughs> Kaskin. I don't know. Sorry. Sergei. Yeah, th this one brings like the the, the monk vibe. Um, the I don't know if this is the last Airbender. I'm not sure if this is the name, mm -hmm. but it just just brings so much cinematicness. Like I don't know, it, it feels like a fusion between Dragon Ball, uh, like Bruce Lee vibes. I don't know. There's so much that resonates with my childhood, and at the same time, it's keeping it fresh that. You know, and like all the previous images, masterfully crafted, uh, mm -hmm. huge level of appreciation and yeah, play of colors. We already mentioned the, the reds and, and blues really work well here. So it's That's a true. pretty narrow, narrow tonal range. So uh, I kind of branded it up for myself to appreciate it. And then all the details and uh, this, this, you know, freezing feeling of this mountain pass really uh, really punched me and uh, yeah I, I really like this feeling and also the colors which are maybe at the moment pretty toned down but they are uh, really nailed down into the image I think. This image also wins the thumbnail image of the year because mm -hmm. like when I saw the, 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 yeah. the whole collection it really mm -hmm. like it popped. Okay let's move to yeah. the next one guys sorry. Yeah the format is really nice isn't it the yeah. Mm, yeah, very bold. Oh, sorry. Oh, crap. Did you clean your desktop? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oof, that's a lot of files there. <laughs> Let us read. We okay, have. I'm going to edit that. going to edit that out. Okay. Hey, come on. It's... And go. Okay, so this image came in color and in black and white, and which house this black Who's and white the artist? version? Sorry, this is... Siarke uh... Kuratsky. Thank you. Yeah, and... Uh... Yeah, if the image reads so well in black and white, this means this composition is really strong. And uh, uh, I don't know uh, what's really about the story, but it reminds me of this kind of, you know, uh, photo, photo, uh, journal photo of oil rig in Norway, this kind of, you know, action over water, uh, maybe some windsurfing vibes. It's definitely really strong in terms of uh, this dynamic composition. He made an actual catamaran with it. Yeah. Uh, the the whole thing looks like something just right before you will close your eyes. Uh, if you will, Go if you will see that effect. Um, yeah, you're right. Now that you mention it, you're right. Yes, it's it's a nice thing. I don't know if this is for purpose or uh, just like that. But this is a nice thing. Sergey is an, mm. another amazing artist. Okay, I'm going to move on. Sorry, okay, this is let's move next to the one next is image. from uh, C. Arafin Kipuchra or Tsipuchra or Chipuchra. Sorry again. I'm, I'm I, as, as an American, I'm really bad at pronouncing names. Okay, so I think we, we liked uh, this biome execution. Uh, also, I don't know if I'm correct, but probably there is some uh, uh, AI in the foreground, which is also nice, nice touch with, you know, with the depth of technique and how it blends together here. Uh, uh, maybe it could use some undertoning, just not to be so gray, uh, but it's you know, just the artistic choice. Yeah, one thing, for, one thing for me would be just to have the animal 
watch the the wisps itself you know it's a small thing but kind of when when you look at it um our natural instincts drive us towards faces or you know whatever so whenever you have an animal person or whatever you kind of direct yourself where uh, he, he or it is watching so it's like a minor thing but yeah now it seems like it's protecting it something yeah guys okay, okay, let's move on. to the next one Oh, second to last. This is from uh, Simon Oidiet. Yeah, and Simon one... from Oroma. Yeah, th this one is beautiful. And we had a vivid discussion. Uh, what's the shape of the mouth? <laughs> <laughs> so this was our, we couldn't, uh, like, I, I suspect it's it's big, but at some level uh, it might feel like it's a, it has like a squinted small face which is also kind of nice uh, like it has just chunky body behind him yeah but still in terms of composition uh, this one brings the all oh, in terms of drama like you know mm -hmm. even here the, the colors are not so dramatic but the drama is there in terms of like a carefully crafted and curated um color palette the the shapes yeah the details the details are already there so <laughs> the there, there's so much about this image that just just makes a, a whole experience for me. Yeah, it really looks like a well thought image. Like even the way the the light shafts are piercing through the whole composition is is really it's really striking. I love this one. Let's move to the next one. So last one. Be the last one. This is from uh, Soljan. Papadima, Papadima. And go. I think and... we all really loved this one. I think, Carolina, yes. you had quite quite a bit to say about this. Yes, I have feelings to this image. <laughs> I uh, I really like this, uh, uh, this color palette. I really like uh, the, um, the reflection and uh, how the water is acting, how, how calm it is. Uh, you can hear the silence when you're looking at this image. So um, what I'm missing here is just one thing, more sky, and this is it. And, and this image is really nice. Mm. But yeah, I do one, think one, thing, foreground as well. one last thing, uh, oh, sorry, go on. No, and I was just saying that I really love the foreground as well and the fact that the composition is symmetrical, but the cabin itself is not. I like that. Yes. I was yeah. saying that this odd crop makes it look like the frame of a movie or something, you know? It's a little bit more like, uh, I don't know, uh, sort of like uh, almost a Tarantino Western. Yeah, it feels like Revenant. Um... <laughs> and, and, and there's one thing about uh, this image that um, sells the idea of liquid or um, ice in a way, which, you know, might, might feel oftentimes superficial uh, since, you know, it involves like the refraction, reflection, uh, color, shadows and whatnot. But I think this sells, even though there's like paint overs or AI or something, but it feels, it sells the idea of the water really well here. Mm -hmm. Very nice now. Guys, let's do the selection. We need to define the, the, the images that will fall into the top 10. So each one of you will have to go and eliminate one image. And uh, as, as a reminder, you have a veto meaning that, you know, if you pick an image that some of the judges don't like and they feel very strong about, they can actually override that image and that image will go into the top 10 because then you cannot really delete it. So I think we'll go Fabio, through. Sorry, oh, sorry. Fabio. Some, I know so, sometimes we did it where, you know, we actually, we started that after we had like 15 or let's say where we had like 14 images. So there were four left to remove. And we usually went through them, right? And like kind of majority voted on them. Wasn't it something like that? We could do that too. It goes quicker, I think. 
I think it will be faster if we let everybody just pick an image that they don't think it belongs in the top 10. Okay, let's do it. Because I'm gonna go we vote on everything. Is it better to pick ones that go into top 10 <laughs> instead of removing that? Like who starts? Fabio, you can start. Which one you that will be? <laughs> that will be more difficult. That will be more difficult. <laughs> yeah, you can do it the opposite way. I veto it. No, it shouldn't be in there. <laughs> that would be more difficult. Anyway, should should I start just to get the the game going? Oh, are we yeah. going to take part in this? We we weren't. I'll we weren't, do that. We weren't critiquing, so I, I thought, yeah. I'll do that so that I speed things up. Okay. So I think <laughs> that in the top ten, the 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 first image that doesn't belong in the top ten is the one uh that is part of the animation the green one in the woods sorry moment yeah this one exactly judges you can veto me if you like sorry let me let me create really quickly a separate folder i want to make sure we save this okay and then uh just going to copy it so I can just delete them. Okay, we're good. Okay. Thank you very much, Jay Lee. You made it into the top 30 out of 140 something images, which is pretty amazing. So next, please. Okay, judges, Arthur, you go first. Yeah, uh, maybe, uh, and, and this is you know a tough uh, nut to crack. But either way, um, I will um, perhaps remove the goddamn. Um, <laughs> the last the pressure. One. I will remove the last one purely by the fact that there's images that have more three D and you know more more composition moves around them so oh what does carolina think of that sad okay but not enough not enough okay thank you soljan good job what's next okay i'll say carolina goes next okay so you gotta remove one image, Carolina. <laughs> Morton visuals. I don't Philip feel Morton. this image. Yes. Which one? No. Sorry. Which one? Uh, there is one. Philip is the one of the guy on the boat. D to cabin challenge late arrival. One second row one. and one, two, four, three. Yeah, there this you go. one. Yeah, exactly. Yes. That one. Sorry. Okay. Thank you so much, Philip. Why is nothing happening? Okay, don't show this again. Jeez. Okay. All right. Bartosz, you're next. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's difficult. I will remove the one with the polar bear. This. Uh, yeah, the one. Going once, going twice. Okay. Thank you. Does. See, Anita. appreciate it. Um, okay, maybe I'm gonna go for something more controversial. Maybe. Oh yeah. The <laughs> the snowstorm mountains. For me, it's a bit too much, but I know some people really like it. So let's see if somebody's gonna veto me. Nobody yet? Okay. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> oh, Vito. Okay. Vito, Vito. <laughs> okay. It's nice. Do, do we have actually the special effect, uh, Jason? <laughs> Sorry, because no, because of all the, all of the, uh, Moving the computers around, I didn't didn't get it hooked up over okay, here. Okay, so basically that image is going to uh, be uh, fast forward to the top ten. All okay. Right. Yes. Aneta, you have to pick another one then. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> um, 
try try choosing the pole dancer and see what happens. <laughs> the which one? Try cho choosing the pole dancer <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not brave enough. Not, yeah, I, now, I'm not. Now you're just... I'm not. Re I'm not ready to have a conversation about that with you, Arthur. Maybe, maybe another yeah. day. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe I'm gonna go for the one after the desert. I felt like maybe it didn't speak to me through and through. Uh, this one. No, sorry, which one? This one, yeah. This one from Raphael. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Raphael. I mean, it's a beautiful image. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's make sure that it's the right one. You say it in the desert? Next to the No, desert. no, the one after, yeah. Ah, okay. Ooh, okay. that's a tough call. I think, I think, I think that's a good one. Good call. Nobody, nobody veto it? Okay. All right. Okay. Arthur, you're next. Again? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. So, um, I might choose the... the blue one from Denis uh, Ronchevich. This one? Yeah. Sorry for the reason that you know, there's just unfortunately uh, the one from Arthur Valente, the uh, the one that just speaks more to me. Like I feel like there's better co connection. So Arthur, yeah, it's still like a band aid. Rip it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't worry. You know, they've already lost your respect. So <laughs> yeah, that's, that's gone. <laughs> we'll build it again later. Okay. Okay. Thank you for. Yeah, thank you, Dennis. Okay. Next, okay, Carolina. I thought Fabio, you were going right. No, no more. No, I, I just, uh, I got the the dance started. You I know? got you. I got you. Okay. Because otherwise, everybody would be like, "No, you go. No, I go." No, you, go. <laughs> you know, it feels like Jenga. You know, with each and every move, it just feels like the disaster <laughs> might happen. Like really fast. <laughs> yes. But but there so, are but there are honestly so many good ones like left. So mm, it's, yeah, it's this tough. is very difficult. It's really hard. Mm -hmm. I know. I guess Andre Mikalenko. Uh, which one was that? This one? No. Yes. That one. This one. This one, yeah. Yes. Okay, let's look at it. No vetoes. Okay. But it's vetoing. All right. Things Thank are you, things. Andre. OK, so Bartos is next. OK, uh, let's do Neil Cross Hidden Chamber. Seriously? Which one? Sorry? Neil Cross Neil Hidden Cross. Chamber. Do you, do you veto me? I, I don't have a veto because I'm a, I'm just a, a pseudo judge. <laughs> a pseudo judge with one veto. So. But I, I could I could use the Lazarus card. <laughs> no, no, why? <laughs> I don't know. We're making up stuff. Yeah, we're making the rules up now. Actually, let me. Let, I've got a couple more rules hidden in my pocket that I'm going to pull out in a minute if I don't like something. <laughs> okay, anybody. Anybody up for vetoing? No. Thank you, Neil. Oh, uh, Neil, my heart is broken, man. So next, it's Anita. Um. Okay, let's see if you're gonna Lazarus me on this one. I would say the duck. <laughs> Which one? The duck. I saw Tom's. Yeah, Pierre Dole. <laughs> <laughs> no. <gasps> you serious? You wanted you wanted a tough game. Here you go. I can get nice, I do can... something about it. Aneta is bringing the drama. <laughs> like uh, I, I don't know. Stuff. <laughs> I would veto her, but I'm afraid uh, what's her next move? <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. You gotta be. You gotta be... <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
No. Okay, is that is that no no vetoes? All right, Rustum, Tom, thank I'm you. I'm giving power power bonus for this. No. Special bonus. Yeah, and the thing is, the, the second work of uh, uh, Rustum was my, my preference. So if it was the second one, I would definitely veto. Yeah, the yeah. other one was also good. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah. It was Sorry, good. Fabio. <laughs> <laughs> Tough line. Oh, so okay. again? All right. All right. Rustum has won. Tom has won before. So you know, we can't feel too bad. <laughs> Okay, so I may go with uh, uh, Andriy Roshko. Oh, uh, sorry, which one? Uh, trying yeah, to the, it, it's right below. Oh, it was before. It's like next to the uh, Tatooine, to the blue Tatooine on the right. So one on the right. Yeah, this is left and one. Oh, this right. one got you. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. <laughs> this one. Yes. Yep. Out of all these, that's the one you're going to pick. <laughs> yep. You it's, sure? All, it's all of these. Any... <laughs> we're, we're bullying the judges. <laughs> yeah, I know easy. people are noticing. Yeah, we're putting pressure. That's part of the fun. Okay. Uh, thank you, Andre, very much. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed your I'm work. I'm out of words. I'm out of words. <laughs> I'm out of words. If, yeah, if nobody, if nobody <laughs> from the audience is going to get mad at the judges, then it's got to be me and Fabio. <laughs> yeah, I hope nobody. Yeah, we, we didn't. We didn't make the rules. They made us do this. <laughs> at this want, point, if you want a panel of judges to anonymously judge your work, then you can enter the CG award. CG Architect 3D Awards. If you want to hear it like live, you got to come here. Yeah. This is tough. <laughs> this is really tough. Okay. Keep, let's Who's keep next? moving forward. Who who picked now? Who was the last person? I, I was the, the lucky one. Okay. Okay. So we still Carolina. have 22, 22 left. Carolina, yeah. let's keep moving things forward, Carolina. Okay, so um, the pole dance. Mm. Oh. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> uh, as much as I would love to see this in top 10, um, I don't know. I would kind of agree. Yeah. Okay. I'm not using my video yet, but. I hope we can have a conversation one day. That's what I say. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Sonia. Okay, let's zoom a little bit. There we go. We've got 21 okay, left. Will... I'm about to have a heart attack. I am voting up on Artur Valente. Artur Valente. I'm trying to find it. I'm lost. This, oh, yeah, this one. one, this one, this one. Yeah. Oh, this one. I, would, mm. I actually think it's a fair call. Yeah. Arthur, no, for Arthur. Yeah, I veto. <laughs> Damn, I veto oh, you vetoed it. it. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. You were the, that was the one <laughs> yeah. you were liking, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Bart, you, you see who your friend is? You Straight see? Straight to the top 10. Yeah, I, I know he was stop in the back sooner or later. <laughs> I, it was just, you know, the, the smart play to, to uh, make him lose his veto, and now I'm attacking <laughs> Freaking 4D chess. <laughs> Bart, you got to pick another one. Another one? Yeah. Oh, damn. Uh, okay. Uh, you said it was community favorite, so it will be. I I leave you, Haryanda, Haryananda. Uh, the second row, second from the left. This one. Yes. Mm. It's a nice one. <laughs> it's a nice one. Okay. Think think twice. Do you veto? I don't think. Mm. Is okay. 
Who has a Vita Weird? No, just someone has. Anita Anita? And you. I do. I Anita do, but I'm not I'm not ready to use it yet. It's too many. <laughs> many left. Okay, is that it? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Olivia. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to be nice here. We've got this so many awful. good images. Amazing images. Anita, you're next. Uh, I'm gonna go for the alone in Wonderland first row, second to last. All right, Bart, you're gonna veto that? No, okay. Thank you, Nadim. That was a very good image. Yeah, I would veto that one uh, as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no vetoes left. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone wants to sell their veto? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Guys, let me just say that there are 90 people watching. This is a peak. Like, oh, I'm sorry for you guys. Oh, yeah. Watching this. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> Going through this. It's, it's just yeah. fri Friday night. Yeah, can I just speak of live? Yeah, guys, can it's I it's Black Friday. Go do some shopping. Can I just say that I appreciate all of these people who are sticking with this and watching this because we know it takes a long time, but I, re I just want to say I really appreciate that everyone everyone who's tuned in because yeah. I think it stayed steady the whole time. You know, we haven't lost any viewers. Uh, we'll see if someone jumps out here in a second when we delete the wrong image, but <laughs> but thank you to everyone who's watching. Yeah, all jokes aside, thanks a lot. It means a lot. So. Okay, who's no, not? I've completely Anita. lost it. Anita, okay. No. <clears throat> no, I just I just said mine, so I think. Ah, okay, so yeah. so Arthur. Oh, Arthur, we we'll so start I'm, again with you. Uh, Jakub Sobiczewski. Oh, you're on top of it. You're already ready. Oh, really? Oh, really? Mm. Which one? It's a beauty. Mm. This one. Nice colors. Okay. Yeah. No veto. Thank you, Jacob. 90 people watching, leave us a like. Put a like under this video. 90 people watching, 60 likes. Something's wrong there. It makes no sense. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next one. Um, first row, the last one. First row, the last one. Okay. The last one from this left. one, from Andrei yes. Stanovich. Yes, with a with a heartbreak, because mm -hmm. I really like this image. <laughs> but you think all of the others are better, so yeah. Uh... yeah you guys are not helping. <laughs> you are not helping. <laughs> that's, the, this is... that's the idea. It's funny because we were talking just about this and Javier just tuned in and he was like, guys, the challenge was amazing. And then the next message, no, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he enjoyed two minutes of the live stream. And <laughs> uh, okay. You know, because normally Fabio and I are also taking part in this part of it. So, you know, we're... It's always a hard process. So now we're just making it like really like squid games for you guys too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. okay, that that's good, one. good for no you. Vitos. Thank you, Andre. So we're down okay, to turn. seventeen left. No, my turn. My turn or not? Who's now? Come on, let's yeah, I'm now. forward. Okay, yeah. so for me, Nic Nicola Bravelli. Uh Nicolo. Second row, second image. This one, okay. Mm. Yes. Very nice uh, image too. Yeah, all of them are mm. nice. Yes, that's yeah. Now we're down to where, yeah, all of them are great. Well, really. Yeah, all of them are great. It's really tough. Okay, thank you, Nicolo. Yeah, I would go for Christian Dragos. That's not your turn now. 
Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind. You can skip me. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I was occupied with the cats. Sorry. <laughs> good, good, good to have priorities. After. Um, I think I'm going to go for... Although, as I said, it's really tough. They're all, all super beautiful. I, I, can't, I can't do images like this. So double tough. Um, second to last, I think. From Sierra High, this one. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Bart, Novito. Uh, I'm tempted. I'm so <laughs> tempted. There, there's Damn. still... There's yeah, but six we need more to, to limit it. Five more to go. Uh, to go. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, let's let's remove it then. Okay, thank you, Sierra. Yeah, and okay. more, uh, the Christian Dragos. J just so you know, if it had more details, then it would be a really banger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a nice one for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Christian. <laughs> Sorry, what? Did I hear Vito? <laughs> no, no, Vito? Okay. Thank you, Christian. Why did it not go? All right. We have 14, four left before we get to the top 10. Okay. Next? So Carolina. Me, Simon, the last one. Sorry. Uh, I think I did though. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, I the last one is one from Simon. Simon. Okay, so we're keeping that one. Carol, did you say Vito? One. Yeah, I said. Okay, yeah. Yeah, good choice, Bart. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, Giuseppe. Ooh. Giuseppe La Greca. The one with the... With the uh, Concrete building and this the one, little. Yeah. No, can't be. No, the concrete is too good. I beat up. That's all. <laughs> okay, but this means this means if you veto, this means that every selection forward will be removed. There will be no more vetoing allowed. Oh well, <laughs> we always have the Lazarus. It's fine. Okay, you veto, you're vetoing. You're vetoing this. Yes. Okay. There is no answer. Okay. This is the byproduct so, of my imagination. <laughs> okay, so, so yes, from these you can choose. <laughs> so the oh my gosh. It's so difficult. <laughs> um it's so the rain top. The rain top. Uh this one. Yes. Okay, thank you, mm -hmm. Anton. We're almost there. Well, we're almost to the first Art. milestone. Okay, uh, I will choose this Star Wars one, this Gianluca Casito. Mm. Uh, sorry, which one? This one? The uh, second row, third one, yeah. Mm, oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's too bad, okay. Great job, Gianluca. Sorry. Oh, guys, you're milking the shit out of our paint. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know how it feels, you know? It's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's all good. Two more, two more to images. Go. Two more images. Jason, <laughs> two more we... images. Two more images. Should we, and then, then should five we more pick images. you and I two images to, to delete? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. No, no, no. At this point, it's super unfair. <laughs> Come on, guys. Well, because like uh, you're done. Like otherwise, only the two judges will will have to choose more. What? Because Anita was the last one, right? No, oh, yeah. I, 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 I chose the last one. Oh, okay. You, I apologize. You can choose. You can choose for me. For no, me. No, no, I no, give no, you. I gave you the power. <laughs> no, 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 no. You go. You go. You go. Uh, okay, so you can choose from these, yeah. Um, oh my goodness, it's tough. It's really hard. Maybe Oof. we can make it as a, as a team effort, if you like. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay, let's do this. 
Um, I, I'm thinking maybe I can throw it out there. I, I'm thinking about uh, <laughs> with the sadness in my fellow. What a bunch of chicken shit! Just <laughs> <laughs> show us okay. what you're made of, Aneta. <laughs> okay, fine, Fabio. Chill. Um... Yeah, I think it's serious. <laughs> and Aneta Fabio and I have never out. spoke ever again. <laughs> Uh, thank God. Okay, so the Tobias one. Which one? Uh, the first one after the ones that were selected with a broken Tobias. heart. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Tobias. Oh, that's a tough one. Okay. So now, Jason, <laughs> should we pick one? You and I, you want to pick one, Jason? I don't. I always get to, I get the shit every time. So <laughs> I honestly don't maybe want we to. can we can choose this one since this is the the last one. Just four of us, you know. Okay, do that. And uh, you know can my my new, my new position is uh, is like a chief business development officer. So I'm not allowed to do creative uh, direction anymore. I can't I can't talk about images anymore. I'm not allowed. Just guys, do me a favor. <laughs> do not take an hour to choose the the one that you're going to delete together. Even even I think though I said this it's with going the, to be this, quick. Uh, yeah. even though I say it with the sadness in my heart, but uh, I, I was uh, with Fred Delgado. Um, uh, agree. Okay. I that's can two. That's three. Vote for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a very. That was yeah, really fast. <laughs> but she was rooting for you, Fred. And Nato was rooting for you. Okay. Thank you, Fred. So that's our top 10. Okay, Ooh, what's next? Congratulations. congratulations. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, great job. It's very okay, nice. Can we go home? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now now we gotta decide the top five the top five. And since you know there are only like four illustrious judges, maybe maybe I should get the dance started. What do you think, Jason? I'll pick one. Go for it. Okay, I'll do that. So can you can you please just show them again? Like uh, yeah, Maxima? let's do that. Let's do that. So we've got from uh, the name is different on the on the image than I think this was uh, uh, Jimmy, wasn't that right? Jimmy Neutron. Which sounds made up, but <laughs> I hope it's real, a real name. Uh, but that was, I'm just looking real quick. I think so. Yeah. And we've so the got next from Arthur. What Valente. are we doing? Just going to have a We're look at them just again. Oh. At them. Okay. 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 We've got from Giuseppe. With the beautiful oh, concrete. The technology of looking at images is so advanced. <laughs> oh, our, yeah. our technology here. Yes. Yeah, your Dito is super teched. <laughs> you know? so if, you, if, <laughs> if you press space, it doesn't it doesn't give you the bigger preview, and then you can go in between them. Yeah, but it's going it's going out of the screen because the way I have it. Uh, so no, no. Okay. it's too difficult, Aneta. It's not mm, like it. sorry, it's not sorry, like sorry. We don't do oh, shortcuts. No. This is from Think Simon. I like know you, 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 Aneta. you like it difficult. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. I like I mean, to manually... just to judge. Like they are like... the tech guys. Like you know, they were laughing at us. <laughs> <laughs> I, we've had, we've had. <laughs> you, we've, you, we've, you do you guys. You do you. <laughs> we've yeah, tried yeah. it. We've tried it every other way, and I just like this the best because I can manually control when it's coming up and. We can go back yeah. and see all of the images. So, so this is from uh, Alec, Alexander, Fizik. This is from Alessandro Coloce. Alessandro Coloce. Sorry, Alessandro. I said I was saying Alexander again. Uh, this is from Bartos Palos. <clears throat> this was the film that we saw at the beginning. This is from Gabriel Rodriguez. Lorenzo Mazzi. <clears throat> and from Sergei Shashin. Did I say that right, do you think? Shashin. Sounds good. 
So Okay, I'll go first. So are we picking the ones to stay or the ones to go? The ones to go, and then we'll stay with the five. So I think that the image that needs to go uh, is... So uh, Alessandro Colace, the blue and red one, to me should stay. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were going to do that. <laughs> You're not fooling anyone. But the second one from the top can go. Wait, and why has Alice now, like... <laughs> Sorry, now that we're in the top ten, we can't we can't hold it anymore. It's uh, it's up. That one that you selected can go. This one. Yeah. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. So, who's next? Arthur. Okay, so uh, still, I would remove the. Snowstorm Mountains. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mohammed, is this Mohammed or was this was, was this the one from somebody else? One of them had the name was different than the than the actual. Thank you, whoever you are, for your image, for your entry. I'm gonna check this real quick. Yeah, this was Jimmy. Sorry, the other one I was was someone else. Sorry about that. Carolina. Uh, so Stranger Things. Mm. Sorry. That's Alessandro Colaccio mm. one. This one. No, no. this is no, not Stranger Things. The, mon the monster. The monster. Yeah. Yes, the oh, second this one. one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Carolina has her, yeah. Carolina has her double cup. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Simon, Simon. Thank you very much. Okay, for me, Giuseppe La Greca. This one, yeah. Thank you, Giuseppe. Man, this is a, a Top blood bath. Ten. It always is. <laughs> Aneta, we Ugh. trust you with making the best decision for the entire challenge. Oof, that is a horrible position. Um, hmm. Tricky. Not this one, not this one, not this one. Can we just have six? I know <laughs> the top six. Six is a good number. <laughs> well, the person will always have the 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 knowledge that they were sixth. So exactly, <laughs> let's put it that way. And this Robin is like is. by now you figured out that this is one of the most prestigious uh, contests in the in the industry. So in the let's world, easily. Let's do mm. a quick calculation. No, go ahead, Anita. Um, I would say, Ugh. <laughs> sorry, sorry that your pain is funny, but it's hard. Okay, it's maybe so the hard. maybe the movie, maybe the movie. I really like it, but maybe the movie. I'm sorry, Bartek. The movie, but ba 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 okay. Thank you so much. You were in the top. I was doing a quick calculation. You're in the top 4.2 percent of the entries. Thank you. That is very, very tough. One. Our top five. <clears throat> oh, no. and interestingly enough, none of the top 10 that were that were vetoed to go into the top 10 are still in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. So somehow that yeah true. that's a that's a tough one for everyone but i uh, think we guys i know i know that the judges got together already to discuss this 
is uh, and you sort of like understood what for you were the top five already, right? Is this a result that it's similar to what you guys selected? More or less. <laughs> yeah, more or less, more or less. I can yes, show you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. So it's very Let's similar. Let's see that again. <laughs> it is similar. <laughs> oh, it's actually... That's pretty cool. Yeah, one is yeah. different. It one is, is the different. same. <laughs> no, no, one, one is different. One is different, I think, no? I had two. It is the same. Oh, it's is it the same? same. Oh, okay. It is the same. <laughs> And with no. All the video. no, it really is the same. Oh my gosh! Okay, so we could have just like said, "Here's the top five. Yeah, See everybody." Exactly. <laughs> we could have made a, an Instagram post <laughs> instead of wasting three hours of these human beings. No, Sorry, no, no to people that are so watching anyway, it. Anyway, no, it's still, just that I, I played my game well. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happens I, now? I, now we're going to vote on these. We're going to vote on each person will vote on what they believe is first through first, second, we will third, vote fourth, too, and fifth. Jason. Okay. And we're going to vote too. Yeah. I think we should vote too. It makes it easier to get an answer, yeah. right? Um, okay, we have so go. more people. So I also say that uh, Roberto Neves is asking, can we vote as well? And I could, <laughs> I would say, I'm going to say no. yes, but not here. Not here. <laughs> I'm going to say that we can. We'll post these on our on our D2, on the D2 community page, and we'll ask people to vote as well. So, but it's not going to be here. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Maybe one day we'll come up with a way to do that, but not today. Okay, so think about this, everyone. Like, basically look at the images in the order that they're in now, and then tell me what place you would give them. Sorry, I'm going to go back down. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, first, second, third, fourth, mm. and fifth. Yeah. But you can tell me the numbers in the order they're they're shown because it makes it easier for me to write it down. We we'll do this old fashioned way. Okay, who's gonna go first? Maybe I'll go first, so I'll get the the dance started. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Father. Oh. Give me one second. I'm trying. To... Are you ready, Jason? Yes. So Already. I would say, I would say looking at the images. Are you ready? I'm ready. Mm -hmm. So four. Yeah. Five. One, two, three. Okay. Who's next? I can go next. I can go next unless someone really wants to. <laughs> no, go for it. Okay, so one. Yeah. Four. Five. Oh, wow. That's like the opposite. <laughs> two, three. Two, three? Yeah. One, four, five, two, three. Okay. I'm going to say, Bartos, you're next. Okay. One. Okay. Five. Two. Three. Four. Okay, Anita. Uh, let's go four, three, five, one, two. Okay, Carolina. Lina. Uh, okay, so the, the first one is one. So wow. first place. Yeah. Um, the third place. Mm -hmm. uh, the second place. 
the fourth place. And the okay. last one. Fifth place, right? No, sorry. Sorry, sorry. It's wrong. Okay. Um, start. It's fine. So the um let's start from the beginning. Is yeah, the no first, problem. The first place, the third place. Yeah. Uh the second, uh the last one, and the fourth. Okay. Sorry, this I'm confused. <laughs> Wait. First, the the first image is what is first place for you? One, yes. Second one is third. Number, Carolina. Third. This one? Yes. Third one is? Second. Okay. Second. Fourth one is? The last one, the fifth. Oh, okay. And then the last one is fourth. Okay, got you. Yes. Got it. Okay. So you're going to have to give me a minute. I was, I was paying attention to writing down. I have to think about this. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Just talk. So, guys, what did you think about this challenge? Aneta, you you seem very stressed out. We kept you very long. Uh, it's it's midnight forty six <laughs> where I am, and I have to wake up in four hours. So I'm very excited. This is taking so long. This has been so great. Sorry. So sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna wrap it up. I promise. I promise. I'm gonna no, wrap it's up. okay. It's okay. And, no, it's nice. We'll... It's really nice. I was I was super impressed with all the works that came in and the number of images that came as well. I was not expecting so many. So yeah, overwhelming, really but talented maybe people one out thing there. Worth, one thing worth saying is that soon you're going to be in Spain, right? For the 3D Symposium together with the uh, with Bart and, and Arthur. Yes, yes, we are. Still have to do the presentation. But uh, yeah, Barcelona is going to be nice. Yeah, hopefully we didn't remove any of you guys from Spain. <laughs> Jesus, before. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay, I've got my I've got my answers. I go four, two, three, one, five. Let me add these up. Somebody's probably already added it all up. Yeah, and, and congratulations to the top five, top ten, and. Congratulations to everybody. To everyone, yeah. to everyone, yeah. Yeah, all, all the artists that took their time, effort, and, you know, there, there were so many people that really spent tons of hours and really shows. Mm. Like, uh, this is why we want to make and, and, and go uh, with the live review sessions, just, you know, for those who are eager to hear more of our yapping, uh, since there's so much to talk about, like, we didn't even go full banana with our feedback i mean yeah and, and thanks so much for all the love like the comments on our instagram account all that thank you guys so much and yeah ho hopefully this is the first one or yeah we'll see and just a reminder for those who are watching for the first time at the d2 we do take these challenges seriously but we do try to you know make these hours go by as easy as possible and so you know i don't want people to think that we don't care or that we don't take this seriously it's just that you know we try to put on a show so that things feel a little bit easier right but i can tell you that the judges they got together they really looked at the work they really sat down and took the time to discuss this so you know like there was a show of professionalism on, on their end not on our end <laughs> jason and i <laughs> <laughs> yeah what, you I, would like, best. <laughs> I would totally i want to totally echo that though because i think it's sometimes I've, I've heard this as a criticism sometimes about how we do this but i want to i want to like also enforce the idea that if you've made it into the selection that gets shown on the actual live stream that is a big deal because those images are selected in the background um, without this kind of like uh, sort of, uh, well, what will we call it? Like, uh, what do you, well, I can't even talk. Oh, uh, that we put up. Sort of tint, so this sort of like uh, uh, tentative vibe where we're not, you know, where it's like as if mm. we're not really paying attention, but those images have been selected to be shown on this show. So uh, I would say getting on to the final show is one of the big, one of the big parts of it in, in any way. Um, <clears throat> but like Fabio said, we we do take it seriously. We know how much work people put into it um, and we do appreciate anyone who enters. So thank you very much.
So I've got some I've got some results here. Uh, Let's hear it. We've got 105 people watching right now. There, it's like they all came wow. back to watch the actual, <laughs> mm. watch the actual the point final, <laughs> yeah, the the actual crowning of the first place. Um, so let's let's get started. Fourth place. Uh, sorry, fifth. Let's not start with fourth. Let's start with fifth place. Is going to be the second image. Surprisingly, I have to say, from Alessandro. This is coming in at fifth place, according to the results I've got here in my hand. Super cool. But yeah, great image. Right, all, I mean, all of these images are amazing. Uh, fourth place is going to go to Sergei for this Ooh, beautiful image, which reminds mm -hmm. me a bit of a... In the, in the thumbnail, it really looks like one of these... Uh, one of these paintings like that are on a mm. on a on a scroll you know um so that's fourth place third place is going to gabriel whoa congratulations gabs mm. yeah okay, well, here we go man. If, I, I don't know if anybody else has added this up yet but here we go this is uh you're gonna find out who's first and second right now so second place goes to alexander and first place goes to Lorenzo. Congratulations, nice guys. Well done, guys. Amazing. Well done. Congratulations, guys. Mm. Really amazing, Chef. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Let us know in the comments if you thought that this went correctly, if you thought that some other images should have won. You know, we try to do our best, but the, the process of selection is a, a weird one. And so... <laughs> yeah, and but also... Anyway, Really sorry about all of the problems getting started this time. Uh, hopefully next time we'll get it worked out. But, you know, everyone knows that that's just bullshit what I'm saying, <laughs> because it happens every time, <laughs> it seems like. Uh, but thank you for the patience. Yeah. Uh, and Guys, I'm gonna, I we're wanna... going to put these images up and we'll, we'll, we'll ask you all to vote on them on our G2 community page as well. I want to I wanna make sure that, you know, like get in touch with us, uh, follow us on Instagram. You can talk to us there, you know, for anything regarding the challenge, uh, you know, claiming your prizes and everything. Also, do keep an eye on on both our Instagram pages, the Common Point and, and the D2, because we're going to uh, try to get back to making videos with like... Uh, uh, these reviews that we're thinking about and also there will be more challenges and so don't miss that out uh, we're already working on the next challenge together with the guys from the common point so you know a lot of exciting things I want to say thank you to the judges again we kept you until 10 o'clock at night and it's uh, 1 o'clock um, you know I don't wanna... totally worth it it was <laughs> worth it right uh, <laughs> Jason, I would say let's just quit the stream so that we can say goodbye to our judges and thank you again, and then we can wrap it up and go and enjoy our beautiful weekend. Yes, definitely. thank you so thank much, you guys. That was a pleasure, Thanks, everybody. Thank and congratulations you. again to the winners. Congratulations to the winners. Yes, thank it was you, amazing. Thank you. thank you, guys. Okay, so I.